Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated, okay? So this is actually going to be a Persephone message, okay? Which I was like a little bit like questioning, okay? I was like, what? You know, I, I asked spirit over and over again, like, you guys are sure, you know? But they're like, yes, you're connected to the Greek gods and goddesses, okay? <laughs> so Persephone is a Greek goddess, okay? She is the queen of the underworld, okay? Like, I don't know, she gives me a real Anubis type of energy, okay? Um, first, let me say God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light with the best in with my best interest and the best interest of the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings. OK, please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. OK, um, but I was saying um, she is the queen of the underworld, underworld, goddess of spring, the dead, the underworld and nature. OK. So, what's the overall energy here? Um, Isis, okay. So, it says, Holy Mother, Holy Queen, Mother of us all, embodied manifestation of love, okay? So, I feel like she's getting at, like, <laughs> an unconditionally loving energy, okay? She is an unconditionally loving energy, okay? Just like, you know, the Nidoru, you know, we're taught not to engage with all of these different types of beings, you know, but they really are, like, loving beings that care for us, okay? They are cosmic influences to, you know, our journeys, okay? Um, you could be a life path number three, okay? Or you could be born in March or the third of any month, okay? But you don't have to be. What else? I'm not going to read anything. <laughs> I'm not going to read anything today, okay? Well, I'm going to read the last card out of the book. But other than that, we're doing it intuitively, okay? So... Well, I mean, we always do it intuitively, but, you know, really, spirit really does point at different things that they want me to read, you know, and some of them <laughs> will not, you know, like they want that red, okay, and they don't care <laughs> who doesn't like it, okay, because it's, it's all in the name of learning something new, okay, or, you know, whatever spirit has to teach you, okay, so we got, um, I'll win, okay, you could also be a life path number four or one or five, okay, it says gift, divine inspiration and awakening, okay, a lot of you guys are awakening to to a lot of the deities you know to the different roles that they actually are have played in the past you know a lot of the stories that you hear out here in these streets okay while you're young while you're growing up okay they are like lies okay <laughs> that's what it, that's what i'm really hearing okay lies okay um, we got excitement, frenzy, and journey, and shining hope and future, okay? I hope you guys are really um, feeling very positive about the future at this time, okay? Because there's a lot of blessings coming into you at this time, okay? I feel like Alwyn is giving Persephone type of energy too, okay? Which I find very interesting, okay? But they're saying there's light and dark to every energy, okay? You also could be a life path number nine, okay? Or your birthday could be in September, okay? Or in April or January or the first, fourth, or ninth of any month, okay? Let me see what else. What else would you like them to know? Or what is the overall energy, I guess? That's the question. Okay. So we got light seeker, light quest, visionary, and mental strength and resilience. Okay, so you have been showing amazing mental strength and resilience on this amazing quest for, you know, this in this quest that you're walking, that where you're seeking for this light. Okay, like you're doing such an amazing job, <laughs> like. Please keep going. And also, this card is very green, okay, which is giving me um, heart chakra energy, okay? This card is number 21, okay, which is another three, okay? <laughs> you, could, you could be a life path number two, 22, or 11, okay? And we got four at the bottom of the deck, okay, with Ascension Flame. It says, liberation, a sense of greater purpose, and higher expectations, okay? So, I don't know. I feel like... Maybe you could be opening yourself up to the higher expectations 
of yourself. You know what I mean? Like a lot of us were kind of walking around, you know, not really knowing what it is we want to do or where we want to go or had having any types of goals. Okay, so um, she's commending you guys. My bad. I'm trying not to do that. I'm not trying not to be like you guys, you know. I really wanted to feel more personal to you, okay? So, she's saying that you have done an amazing job at um, sticking this thing out. You know, you've awakened a lot of gifts within yourself, and you really are receiving divine inspiration, okay? And you are being awakened to different things, okay? And that could be one of the reasons why you're even looking at this video, okay? <laughs> So we got um, higher heart activation, okay? That's what I was saying. A lot of heart chakra energy um, with this light seeker card, okay? It says dropping shields, divine love, and your heart is healed, okay? So your heart is healed at this time. You know, if you thought you were, look at the Venusian Galactic Council, okay? If you thought that you were not healed yet, you know, you are healed, okay? You are actively doing it, okay? <laughs> so your heart is being activated on a higher level at this time okay the vibration of your heart and the unconditionally loving energy that you are giving out is being upgraded right now okay so you could be a little bit sensitive is what i'm hearing okay we got star being guides answer the call time to shine okay look at this okay this is how we walking around looking okay this is three different beings right here okay um but I feel like, you know, that's you and your squad, okay? <laughs> that's how y'all walking into whatever room you guys are entering, okay? <laughs> if you have, like, a crew. <laughs> we got Akashic Stargate, okay? It says, aligned with purpose and crossroads and no wrong path. And the song saying, ain't none of this shit promise, ain't none of this promise, ain't none of this shit certain, ain't none of it certain, ain't none of us perfect, okay? Ain't none of this shit promised, ain't none of this, ain't none of this promised, okay, so, I mean, don't be so, don't have such a hard time, okay, releasing and letting go of things and people, okay, um, also, you guys are attracting so much abundance to you with this central sun energy, And I feel like you guys have a lot of Egyptian deities that guide you guys at this time, okay? But you guys are also connected to the Greek gods and goddesses, okay? So she's saying go and look and read about them, okay? The stories might not be true, but they do hold deep lessons, okay? Just use your intuition, use your discernment while you're, you know, looking around and reading the different things, okay? It says Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting the process and Dharma. OK, so um, I feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of that energy where you just want to retreat and, you know, <laughs> be in the house, you know, be separate from everyone. You are. Um, I, I did it again. OK, I said a lot of you guys, <laughs> but this is how they be talking to y'all. OK, <laughs> but I feel like. You're coming out of that place where you just want to sit at home, recharge, you know what I mean, and really wait for the answers, you know. Not that you're not receiving the answers, just you've received all the answers that you needed to get out of this last hermit mode, you know. Now you're going through this higher activation, okay, and spirits wanting you to try not to withdraw from everyone while you do it, you know. Try to do it and be... Um, do it and be open to going out and doing other things as well, okay? We got the memories of Atlantis, okay? This is going to um, bring some sort of spiritual acceleration to you, okay? Some sort of progress, you know, showing spirit that, you know, you can still live your life and be spiritual, okay? Because some people kind of get stuck. It says solar light upgrades, solar plexus, chakra, inner fire, and willpower, okay? So the inner fire is is happening, okay? It is alive and well within you, okay? You know, it burns like the central sun, okay? The central sun burns within you, okay? The central sun is the light that burns within you, okay? Um, and your solar plexus chakra is what they're talking about i think you know you could be fear, feeling very confident you know confidence okay feeling very confident and um 
like adventurous at this time you know really not afraid of anything afraid of taking risks and really getting out there okay and that is something that's being encouraged in your energy okay we got the temple of truth okay um or the throat chakra okay it says authenticity and self-expression okay y'all you are doing an amazing job of using your throat chakra and expressing yourself and really you know letting people know where you come from where you stand and what type of things you know you're into what you will accept what you won't accept you know not really playing any games with anyone at this time okay and you haven't just recently got an amazing crown chakra upgrade okay you are really connected to the divine okay having holy and miraculous experiences and coming across different energies that you know you were asleep to before okay so again so she's saying <laughs> for stephanie she's saying and so that's why you're attracted to this message from her okay and what else would you like to talk about we got the magician and the page of pentacles okay i feel like you're just really feeling this energy you know you're like you know yeah i'm ready <laughs> okay look ready to get this justice okay everything's going right in your favor okay um also that gives me like moon energy okay this moon portal is very very strong okay um we got the knight of pentacles okay and the queen of swords okay you could be a um a gemini libra aquarius okay um and you also could feel like, you know, your blessings are coming in very slow, you know, but spirits waiting on you to get certain upgrades. You needed this higher heart activation before this big blessing comes in. You needed um, to start feeling more confident and comfortable in yourself. OK, before um, anybody, any of the deities could bring in this really strong energy that they're bringing to you right now we also got the king of swords okay so that's giving me like um a really balanced energy though yeah with the empress okay <laughs> it's giving me really balanced energy okay you're doing great <laughs> and so you're just um we got the four of cups okay exactly you're just paying attention to exactly what it is all of the different things that spirit has to offer at this time and it's working for you okay um you're really someone who has a very strong intuition okay you're following your intuition in the best way okay but you know lean into it a little bit more you know um find out as much about you know the hidden knowledge and things that you know like debunk things okay debunk things for yourself okay so that you can get to the bottom of certain truths okay there's certain things that you need to know before spirit can you know offer up more information to you you know it's like page shit you know what i mean like not to say you know you're immature or you're young in any way you're definitely you know walking in your grown energy at this time okay that grown and sexy energy but they're just saying, you know, you're still a page, though. You know, there's still so much more that you need to learn, okay? So much more that you need to know, okay? But you're making extremely fast progress, okay? Um, really recognizing your worth and knowing where it is that you want to go right now, okay? Look at the Nine of Cups with the wish fulfillment, okay? Your wishes are being fulfilled, and you got big energies that are helping you to do it. And Persephone is definitely one of them, okay? So, let me tell y'all. I used um, the Anubis Oracle deck, okay? I used the Sacred Light Oracle deck. And I used the Fairies the fairy forest oracle deck okay and then these superhero ones are the dc tarot okay and this is the oracle of shadows and light all right what else ay, ay, ay. i feel like the power <laughs> i'm hearing the power of three Okay, the power of three will set us free. That's what they be saying on Charm. The power of three will set us free. So, and this, there's a, these threes out, okay? 33 is a master number, okay? So, you're really becoming a master of yourself, okay? And it takes times, okay? 
we got the three witchy sisters though <laughs> um and it says the power of three okay <laughs> and um i don't know you could have it's like look at her eyes are open you know like this person's eyes is open they're seeing you know they're paying attention and these two you know they kind of have their eyes closed you know like they're sleeping you could have a lot of people like sleeping on you at this time you know and also you can have people working in groups against you at this time okay we got the violet angel with breaking dawn okay but spirit is saying that you have broken a huge cycle okay and there's nothing but this great amazing abundant energy coming in through all of these portals that are open at this time okay we got the nautilus princess okay it says powerful personal growth okay this is what you have done okay <laughs> you have done some very powerful personal growth okay and you need to um just keep that going it says dress of alchemy okay release your power Okay, look at her wings, okay? She got her little her little potion and she looks like she's just ready for any and everything, okay? And that's exactly where you are. And look, it's the card number 33, okay? <laughs> the synchronicity is crazy out here, okay? And the Empress card, of course, is the number three, too. We got Sea Storm, Calm Amid the Chaos, okay? Spirit has you know blessed you with this sort of energy where you're kind of oblivious to the chaos you know like you don't really have to worry about what other people are thinking or what other people are saying about you you know because you're like you know this mermaid you know there's this big storm raging around her and still she looks peace she looks calm she looks fly okay <laughs> and i feel like you know you're embodying all those characters or characteristics you know you're looking good and you're keeping your calm and you're acting in the ways that you should be acting okay but it could be having you feeling a little stifled a little bored a little stuck you know really wanting to go out and have more fun okay and persephone is definitely um saying that that's what you need to do if that's what you want to do but don't let your stifled bored and stuck feeling you know get you into trouble they do want you to stay very focused on what it is that you have going on we got the grumpy red fairy okay it says be your true self and we got out trick or treating we're here okay look the three fates what goes around comes around okay so people are definitely um getting back whatever they're throwing at you right now there is no hurting you or harming you or none of that shit okay you're doing your prayers and you're handling your business anything else you want them to know the door to romance is the card number 33 yo <laughs> okay the door to romance so you're definitely um since you have found this love within yourself and your soul balance that's what really kicks off you really attracting who you really want to attract okay um and the door is wide open for it you know if you are single you know if you are in a connection you could be you know feeling very solid in your connection okay or about to be okay it could be new you could be feeling a little anxious about things, though, you know, a little bit in your head. The Spirit's saying, you know, avoid being in that type of energy, okay? Like, whatever it is that you're anxious about, you know, pay attention to it, okay? Show it some love, okay, with the angel of love. But I feel like you're doing great, okay? <laughs> oh, I want something just like this. Look at the goddess of the moon, okay? Like, you're really standing in your power. The goddess of the moon gives off that real empress type of energy, too, okay? We got the um, a woman holding a heart, okay? Which is um, the card number 44, okay? <laughs> so I feel like, you know, like you're going from one level of mastery with this 33 at this beginning of this row and the 44 at the end, you know, all because of this higher heart activation that you have going on. You know, this angel is also holding a heart. Yeah, magic and the mirror, okay? You have unlocked your magic, okay? Um, you can have people around. Ooh, 
look why is deceit right here and archangel right there archangel michael is right there on it don't even trip okay protecting this you know these caring connections that you're trying to build at this time okay so if you feel like you know you are in a new thing you know or like some people are trying to keep you from finding love in some sort of way you know they can't stop you from finding this door to personal healing and happiness okay like whatever you do with your throat chakra it has brought you a lot of blessings okay so just know it's coming in okay you are doing the right thing on your journey okay by um walking through this door with spirit okay some of you guys could be um oh my gosh you could be <laughs> going through some financial constraints okay um but you may have just rethinked your strategy because of these financial constraints and it got you like really on the right path. OK, um, Archangel Raphael is also here, you know, helping you to um, um, transition in this higher heart activation. OK, when you get a higher heart activation, your psychic gifts increase. OK. And it can be a little weird, okay? It can be a little scary depending on what your gifts are, okay? Persephone is saying don't freak out. <laughs> Do not freak out, okay? When you start hearing and seeing strange things, you know, get investigative about it, okay? Look around. Get as much um, information as you can, okay? We got eaten with seduction, okay? I feel like, you know, the message with that is don't be out here getting seduced into dealing with the wrong energies, okay? With energies who wish to, you know, trap you with energies who don't, who choose not to answer to the most high God, okay? We got stability, okay? As long as you keep your eyes on the prize and keep your eyes on the light, okay? The real light. Like, don't get caught up in anybody showing any false light, you know. And I was reading this the other day, and they were talking about, you know, there's a little, like, silver palette down here, you know, where, like, a little piece of his armor is showing, and there's a little piece of his armor sticking out right here on the chest under his robes. It's like, um... Like, he's always ready, okay? And now I'm hearing, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Um, yeah, so, ooh, look at this transformation and solo magic. But it was in reverse. You go through a huge transformation, okay? I feel like it was in reverse because, you know, I feel like, Maybe you you might not feel like you're a very magical thing, you know, just you alone. You might feel like, you know, you need like the approval of others or you need help from others in some sort of way to accomplish your dreams or accomplish your goals, you know. And it's like, you know, sometimes you need help from others, but you don't really need you don't really need assistance, okay? You ha you're very powerful, okay? Um, your intentions and, you know, your goals that you set, okay, they are leading you to this success. So don't f be in anxiety, you know, feeling like you're never going to make it or you're not going to get to your end goal, okay? You are going to get there, okay? And it's going to be far from the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got Lumerian blood, okay? You are a star seed. <laughs> you're a star seed, okay? You have access to any and all information that you need to you know, really make it to this big 5D energy and to really live a big 5D ass life, okay? <laughs> so just keep going. You're doing very great, okay? We got spell work, okay? Like I said, and that could have been why um, solo magic was in reverse too, okay? You got people doing magic on you and they ain't doing that shit solo, okay? <laughs> They're in a group, okay? Because it's your time to shine, okay? Here we go again with this Atlantis connections, okay? You could be having memories from your past life, okay? From your Atlantean past life. And maybe you need to do some sort of spell work for yourself, okay? Some sort of... I don't know. Protection spell is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing protection spell. Twin flame mission. Okay. Abundance. Dark night of the soul. Hashtag the purge and sage your space. 
So sage your space, okay? You could be on a twin flame mission and you could have had a really crazy dark night of the soul, okay? But that time is over. You're not going to go back, even if you do have another dark night of the soul, okay? It's never going to be as hectic, <laughs> you know, and as like long as the last one. Because I don't know, I think my last dark night of the soul was short, okay? But my first dark night of the soul... Because I had a couple, <laughs> clearly. My first Dark Night of the Soul was just sucky, okay? Like, it was terrible. <laughs> but I loved it. I mean, I loved it after, okay? Because it got me to this place, okay? <laughs> and so you could be feeling grateful for your Dark Night of the Soul at this point too, okay? But you know for sure that it is something that you don't want to go back to, okay? This is the King of Wands, okay? And he just looks so tall, you know? He looks bigger, He's a giant, okay? These tree, these are trees, okay? And they look, look real tiny like, you know, like grass, this field of trees to him, you know? And I just feel like you're standing in this larger than life energy, okay? You could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? You could be really in your masculine energy at this time, okay? Look, the Empress again, <laughs> okay? You are doing the thing. You are... Um, possessing this wisdom you know she holds the owl in her hands in the waterfall okay like you're going with the flow and you're following your wisdom and your guidance okay and you need to keep doing that okay with the six of wands because you winning <laughs> you are in this amazing energy okay and we are proud of you that's what i'm hearing your ancestors your guides they are all very proud of you wanting you to stay focused okay like it said don't get distracted don't get seduced don't get sucked into the wrong energies okay they be talking i be walking Throw shade on my name, step with caution. You be stalking, I've been bossing. Scooped up some more land because I'm flossing, okay? You might be about to buy some land or you could have bought some land recently. Don't make me count to 10, 1, 2, 10, what you think, okay? You could be the type to count when you're, <laughs> to keep yourself from getting upset, okay? Um, We got destiny, okay? Divine purpose, passion, and service, okay? So, you know, if there is any doubt, you are definitely walking your divine purpose and following your the proper passions right now, okay? I mean, you know if it's for you or not, okay? <laughs> we got um, attachment, though. Accumulation, defensiveness, and scarcity, okay? You're needing to come out of that energy, you know, where you just want to, you know, accumulate and hoard as much as you can, you know, and being very defensive about everyone and everything, you know, like, calm down, okay? Like, um, you know... You're being told that you're in some sort of scarce thing, okay? You're like the scarcity is not as okay. So with scarcity, I get like, you know, broke mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have like feeling like you don't have enough, you know, or like I didn't have enough back then, so I gotta get, 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 get as much as I can, you know. And they're just saying, don't focus so much on the money, okay? And also, if that is you know, a sort of way that you feel, you know, maybe you really need to do some root chakra work, okay? Um, there's some things in your root chakra from your childhood that you may need to release at this time, okay? Do some purify, purification um, with this amazing magic that's out here right now, you know? Um, do some spiritual cleansing, some letting go so that you can make sure you're right there, you know, that you stay on this current, like, time line i guess we got wisdom okay look psychic intuition and truth okay and it's also the card number 44 <laughs> okay so your psychic intuition okay your truth that you're feeling that you're walking in right now okay that is it is authentic okay so don't don't no need to question it is what i'm hearing no need to question it you're doing what you're supposed to be doing okay it's like Persephone. <laughs> Persephone says she got the power to hold the darker energies at bay, okay? She has the power to make sure nobody fucks with you, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Look, the waterfall, okay? This is what I said. Really, really going with the flow, okay? 
we got the queen of scrolls which is the queen of swords again okay and we got the architect look okay so i feel like you know you're getting ready to like direct people okay this is this is like a pharaoh or a king or something right here okay with his egyptian queen okay and they're like pointing and telling people what to do you know on this building site okay so you could be about to be you are about to be a boss okay you already in this boss energy but you're about to start like directing and delegating and you know telling people what it what they need to do and where they need to go and what time they need to be there and how they need to get it done because you know I, I have a deadline I want this done by then you know <laughs> okay handling this business this is what you're about to get more into they got evil intentions I can see right through it yeah, they wanted me. They wanted me dead once the kid got ahead. Wait, what did he say? Okay, he said they got evil intentions. I can see right through it. I won't need me no pension, bitch. I get right to it. Bet they wanted me dead once the kid got ahead. I can ride in their bed and grab their bitch by the head. Whoa, that's that's crazy. <laughs> so you know. You are very, 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 very protected, okay? Anybody coming up against you, okay? They could be getting haunted right now, okay? Or tormented in some sort of way. You know the hate is the new love. They get close to us just to use us. And I'm going to keep turning up too much. Okay, so we got 176. So keep turning up, okay? Keep doing exactly what you're doing for spirit, okay? Your spiritual journey is everything at this time, okay? So the waterfall or the six of forces, it says a towering waterfall roars down into a beautiful body of water. In the upright position, this card reminds you of your incredible personal power and supports you in opening up to the force within. Know that you you are a dynamo in the universe. You have the ability to shape any situation in a way that honors you and moves your life forward. The element of water is fluid like the waterfall. Your personal energy never stops. Your life force is never ending. It springs from your eternal past and roars into your limitless future, extending into the further reaches of the universe. It is a time of deep thought and even deeper emotions, as well as an expansion of psychic energy. Use this time to act on these and tap your power that is ever flowing, okay? And so, thank you so much, Persephone, for those lovely messages. With that, I am done, okay? I hope you got something that you needed out of that. I hope you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later. Bye.